Hello lovelies, in today's video we're gonna be talking about newborn essentials that you'll actually use. And as a third time mom this time around, I'm 35 weeks this week, I think I have it down. So let's get into the video. I'm gonna give you everything that I've used with my girls that I found exceptionally helpful in the new newborn days. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Brittany Garcia and I create a bunch of content all about motherhood, interior design and homemaking. And so if any of those topics interest you, then you're in the right place. Excuse the lighting, it is quite cloudy today and the, the clouds keep moving. So we're, we're trying to make do here in the brightest spot of this room. So this baby, we don't actually know if it's a boy or girl but I do know a few things, and that is the things that I'm going to need having a baby the third time around, what is essential, what is not. So I'm gonna break it up into different categories, but the first item that I think is absolutely essential when you have a newborn is, because you're carrying them all the time, is a ring sling carrier. I've tried multiple different ones. Bethany liked a similar to a boba wrap, um, better than this one, which I don't have out to show you, but it's the one that crisscrosses in the front. But with Adeline, I used a ring sling from Wild Bird. This color is gorgeous. It's a nice, super pretty forest green. Um, and I absolutely love the quality of their ring sling. So basically you thread this thing up and you hook it, um, you hook it together. So you thread it through and you can hold your baby very easily in this. You can use it from newborn all the way through like toddlerhood. It's been super useful to me. Um, and I found this one a little bit easier to put on than a boba wrap. And it's not as long as a boba wrap. So if you're trying to put it on outside of a car, it doesn't drag on the floor. So Adeline really liked this one. There's a few different new newborn hacks you can use to kind of support their head, support their neck. This one, um, I wouldn't recommend it if you need to be completely hands-free because you're kind of supposed to keep in hand on their bottom at all times um, if you're using it. But if you need it around the house just to get a few things done, it's very useful. The next thing that I think is an essential, obviously, is a car seat slash stroller combo. There are moms who do a lot more baby wearing than I do and that I personally was able to do um, just because my back was so sore after giving birth um, and I needed to strengthen my back muscles. So what I found super useful um, after I had Bethany and after I had Adeline was getting a car seat stroller combo. Obviously, once we had two babies, we were using a double stroller, but I found one that fit the attachment of my actual car seat so that I could just quickly take baby in and out of the car without needing to fully unstrap them. And that's especially useful if you don't want them to wake up. Um, however, I would say, make sure you give them a break from the car seat, you know, on occasion, just hold them because it, it, it it's uncomfortable for them to be in that position for long periods of time. But for a quick outing, it was very, very useful to have that and I really liked it a lot. So we got the, the I believe it was the Baby Trend one, and I'll link that one down below. All of these items that I can link will be linked down below, by the way. And also, that stroller was like the best one at the price point three years ago when we got it for Bethany. I'm not sure what it is at now, but I really love the maneuverability of if you just need a, a single stroller. Next thing is you obviously need a place for your baby to sleep. So if they're newborns, they're probably gonna be sleeping next to your bed, so get a cradle of some sort that can be you know, easily accessible from your side of the bed so that you can hear when baby wakes up and get, you know, just a nice mattress, get some sheets, get a, a, get a few different sheet sets so that you can change out sheets quickly, get a mattress protector, and you're good if you have blowouts. It's not gonna be a big deal if you have multiples <laughs> to switch out. Um, my particular cradle, which I haven't set up yet for this baby, I really need to get to that because I'm due very soon, but, um, my cradle I actually found thrifting so you can definitely find baby items to thrift I got a new mattress for it and it's as good as new I cleaned it up and I absolutely love how vintage and pretty it is 
Next, you're gonna need a place for your baby to lay down. Obviously, um, it is really good developmentally to let babies lay on the ground and just kind of crawl around. So I would suggest something like this, a nice thick blanket that you can lay them on, on the floor is great. Um, this one is really nice because if you have hardwood floors, you don't necessarily need to put padding down to like set them on the floor um, and let them kind of explore, look around, do tummy time. These are great for that. Um, this one is actually, it was actually a gift and it's from Pottery Barn, no, sorry, RH Baby and Child. I'll see if I can find the link to this and I'll link it down below. Now, um, besides just a place to lay them down, let them explore, let them see the world and have, you know, full range of motion, which is really good for babies when they're newborns, is a lounger. Now, I did not buy a lounger. I made one and I'm going to link the video that I followed to make this down below because I had so much fun making this when I was pregnant with Adeline. Um, and I've made several of these. I think this is, I think I've made two or three and I've gifted friends um, this exact same pattern of baby lounger but I really like these because if baby is sleeping and you don't want to necessarily go put them in their cradle like you know in your room you can have this like in your kitchen you can put it on the floor you can let baby sleep in there it's nice and warm because it has the sides they feel nice and secure in here um, obviously you need to supervise them if they're sleeping in this because of you know you just don't want it to turn over and like get their face in here but when they're newborns they don't tend to turn over once they're rolling over you wouldn't want to use this anymore etc but it's reversible it's so cool so and then also this thing is removable so you can wash it um and then you can like flip it inside out it's so cool and it has the tie at the end that i added so if you're interested in making one of these i'll link the video down below that i used to follow for the pattern another thing on my list that is possibly an essential but possibly not however i used it a lot with both girls is a baby swing um it's it's useful in moments when you have to get ready and baby will not calm down and you don't have an extra set of hands with you um because the motion calms them down so i probably would put it on an essentials list i'll link the one i have down below as well it was very very practical it has you know music that calms them down etc i really enjoyed having one for sure okay so let's move into things for baby care now there are a few things that i have on here that i think are absolute essentials obviously baby needs to be clean and so i really like this brand by the honest company it is the lemon sorry lemon lavender <laughs> and chamomile baby shampoo it smells really good it doesn't have any um it has naturally derived ingredients and the smell the scent is actually essential oils um and the lavender just calms them down so i have the conditioner i have the shampoo and the conditioner very essential you definitely need this um or some kind of you know whatever baby shampoo is is your preferred next thing this uh obviously you need a lotion for your baby's skin. Um, I really like this one. It is just from Aldi, but it's great. It has colloidal oatmeal in it, and it's free of parabens, phthalates, and fragrances. Really, really good for babies, sensitive skin. I use this on both of my girls, and I really, really like this brand. And it absorbs very quickly as well. So on the topic of skincare, you definitely need a good diaper balm. This one, we used it um, recently with Adelina. I hadn't tried it before, a Desitin, and it actually is very effective about getting rid of rashes. Adeline has been especially sensitive to getting rashes. And so this one has been very helpful in getting rid of the rash, um, seals out moisture. Um, so definitely find a good diaper balm that works really well. That's the best one that I've found in my opinion. However, if you're cloth diapering, you can't use normal butt cream on cloth diapers because it will ruin the absorbability of your diapers. So I would recommend um, the, sorry, I blanked on the name. It's the Boudreaux's butt paste and it's the green tube specifically the red one you can't use on cloth diapers but the green tube you can and it has really good ingredients and it has aloe and a whole bunch of other great stuff on the topic of putting things on baby's skin 
I also have another lotion to, that I can highly recommend. This lotion specifically has saved our butts, my, mine and my husband both, on sleepless nights with Adeline. It is the Lil Mo Maggie Magnesium. And essentially what this is, is a magnesium formulated specifically in lotion form for babies and children so it has the right dose for them you want to make sure that it's the right dose um, but it has helped her sleep through the night without sleep training now she's older now obviously she's not a newborn and it's normal for for newborns to wake up frequently to feed however on the nights when she would not calm down settle down even after feeding her i wish that i had known about this back then i have a whole blog post about this because it was so transformative in our lives i'll link that down below as well as a whole video on how we got her to sleep through the night at like 16 18 months so you need this this is probably number one for me so moving right along another thing that has been very helpful with adeline has been um teething gels obviously i like this one a lot by newbie it's all natural ingredients soothing gel it has chamomile in it and it it doesn't have benzocaine it's belladonna free as well um oh, i was blurry just for a second uh but this one was really good it's totally gone now but i love this brand um and then when she needed something a little bit more i would use um or gel baby um and I'm not against using things that relieve babies of pain. I just prefer to go the natural route first. And if they need something a little bit stronger, going with something a little bit stronger is okay in my opinion. This also does not have drugs in it. So if you are kind of crunchy like me as a mom, there are a few essential oils I want to recommend for teething um, specifically. And I, I don't have any more of my uh, other bottle that I wanted to show you, but it's copaiba oil. Copaiba oil, you can essentially take a drop of it, put it on your finger, and rub it directly on their gums. You don't need to dilute it. You can if you want to, but it's a very mild essential oil and can be used, um, it can be ingested. So you can put it on their gums. But I made, I would make a little salve with clove oil. This one is by Young Living, really great brand as well. So this one is just the clove one, and you mix the copaiba with a little bit of ol um, olive oil or coconut oil. I like the coconut oil because it would be a little bit more solid, and you just can rub that on their gums as well, wherever they're having discomfort. Uh, another few essential oils that I found very helpful before we knew about the mag magnesium, we used a lot of vetiver um, and diffused this in her bedroom at bedtime, and she actually it actually makes me sleepy when i put this in the diffuser so it's just it's a very mild again um essential oil but it does make you sleepy lavender is great to calm babies down as well if you have a fussy baby i've seen this done before and i've done it with addy as well the scent of lavender calms them down very quickly so you can literally open a bottle of it put it under their nose like you know a, a safe distance and let them just kind of smell it and it will calm them down as well so those four essential oils are my most used ones. I also really love frankincense. Um, frankincense is really great all around to raise your um, immunity. And so if baby's sick, you can rub a little bit of uh, frankincense. And there's tons of different charts on Pinterest and online of dilution for babies. Um, lavender is very, very mild. So you don't need to do much with that one. But if you're more comfortable diluting it, you can. And you can look up the ratios for everything on that. Mm -hmm. Something that I found very useful with both of my babies was the nose Frida. I'm missing the other part. It's the tube that you like suction and it has a little filter. Now, since using this, I do find it rather disgusting, <laughs> even though it doesn't ever touch your mouth, that you're suctioning from your baby into a tube that is connected to you. I don't find it super, super gross, but I do wish that there was a better method. And then I had a company reach out to me. So I'm very excited. It's my first sponsored video segment, but essentially what it is, is a baby nasal aspirator and it's rechargeable. And I'm very excited to use this for baby. I'm actually gonna test it out and show you some clips here in a moment of how this thing works because I'm very intrigued. You can do a weak power mode, you can do moderate and strong. 
and it's really cool because it has a small little tip and you just kind of put it in their nose and turn it on and it suctions out the boogers which sounds amazing to me um you know you're a mom when you're excited about a product like this Grownsy is a brand committed to creating modern and thoughtful baby products for parents all over the world. Their electric baby nasal aspirator is equipped with three tips made from food grade silicone. The soft and flexible material ensures that it is gentle on your baby's sensitive inner nose surfaces. It is rechargeable with a USB plug and it is designed with three level suction which makes it both easy and effective to clear mucus within your baby's nose. It is easy to clean by detaching the storage bin and tips and washing them in warm, soapy water, which by the way, it has tips for a newborn all the way through toddlerhood. I love that the motor is so quiet, which makes it easy to clean their nose and also it will not frighten your baby as you do it. It also features a light, which changes color and a music feature to help keep your child entertained and still while you clear their nasal passages. My code BrittanyCR10 will get you 10% off of your purchase through my link in the description box below. A special thank you to Grownzy for sponsoring this part of today's video. Look at the light. Okay. So when Bethany was born, she had a lot of issues with gas, and I wish I had known about these when she was little because these worked so well with Adeline. So when you know that there's a lot of gas in their stomach and you're trying to help them relieve it, what you can do is bend their knees up to their stomach, and literally, this is called a windy. <laughs> and it's a funny name, but it is essentially just a little, this one's clean, I have, it has not been used, I promise. Um, you stick it up their little booty, and because of the way it is um, designed, it actually relieves the gas that they can't pass when they're newborns. And it sounds like a little whistle <laughs> when it finally comes out. It's super funny, <laughs> but it really works. Um, and poor Bethany, she had so much colic when she was little that I wish that I had had this. Obviously, you're also going to need some nail clippers and a hairbrush for your baby if they're born with hair. Um, so this is kind of an essential, kind of not if your baby doesn't have hair. However, these hairbrushes that have the soft bristles um, are very useful actually to get rid of cradle caps. So if, you, if your baby doesn't have hair, it's still important to like brush their scalp um, gently, obviously to remove any kind of like flakes of skin and oil buildup and that just kind of helps prevent cradle, cradle cap. But if they do happen to get it, you can um, wash their hair and this is so soft and you can literally just um, very gently massage their scalp with it and kind of get rid of the, the cradle cap. And Next thing I wanna recommend, I don't actually have it in here. I believe I have some in my medicine cabinet still but it is a probiotic drops. And those things are so good for babies because when they can't, especially if you're supplementing with formula, it's sometimes hard for them to digest the formula. And so probiotic drops give them the necessary um, good bacteria in their guts in order to digest. And so I really, really liked this for Bethany when she was little. I've used it on Adeline as well. and it, gets rid of constipation super quickly like within a day in addition to that putting um coconut oil on their head and rubbing it in letting it sit for a few minutes and then doing this and then shampooing will get rid of like all of it another thing is vitamin d drops super essential for babies you need to give your baby vitamin d especially if they're born during the winter time and they're not getting exposed to sunlight like a normal baby like not a normal baby but a baby born in the summertime would get more exposure exposure to good uv light so vitamin d is crucial for baby's development even if you're breastfeeding you should be giving your baby vitamin d drops now let's talk about things that calm baby down and help put baby to sleep i am very excited about this product because i wish i had known about it when i was trying to find a pacifier for adeline she was exclusively breastfed all the way through we never did formula um, we did bottles occasionally but even bottles she didn't like very much um, and I always was looking for a pacifier that was soft enough for her to enjoy sucking on because that was the main issue. She didn't like any of the passies that I had found her. I tried almost every brand and they didn't work. And Bethany loved passies as a baby and it was super easy to calm her down if she was crying inconsolably. 
especially in the car and I never could find one and she just hated all of them. She sucked on one specific brand for a little bit which was the um I believe it was either Itsy Ritzy or another brand. I'll put the name here, the one that she liked. But anyways, after a little bit, once she got her teeth, she didn't like it anymore, so we had to be done with the pacifiers and, and that was a sad day. But this brand is so neat, you guys. It's called Ninny and Co. And essentially, their pacifiers are specifically designed for breastfed babies because they are extremely soft. Like I'm barely touching this and it literally is, it, it's like skin soft. And this is genius. And I love that it has like a round um, piece right here that's flat. So it's shaped like a breast, shaped like a nipple. It feels soft like it would to a baby who was breastfed who is not used to bottles. And so they have tons of different colors. I got this one to try it out with Adeline when she was a little bit older, probably about six months ago. I got this just to see if she would suck on it, and she did, um, but she was pretty much already past the suckling phase, so she didn't continue using it. But I highly recommend this brand. I'm excited to try it with our newborn baby, especially because it doesn't cause nipple confusion. So, and it's, and it's a woman-owned company, two moms who started their brand, and they always wish that they could find a very very soft nipple pacifier and so they couldn't and they created one for us so it's great I um, found out about this hack when Bethany was little and I wish I had known when she was super tiny before I had her because it would have saved me a lot of headaches in the car is that if you're driving and you can't reach back to give your baby back their passy passy if they're sucking on it you need clips okay I didn't realize how essential these were until I got them you clip them to the car seat strap closest to you so that you can easily reach it when you like reach a stoplight. Reach back and pop it back in their mouth and even if they lose it a hundred times on your drive, you can still put it back in their mouth and not have to be like looking for it down in their car seat. So for sleep, um, I, so there's three different phases that I'm gonna show you. Um, all of these are useful even in newborn phase, but the most useful to me was the swaddle. I really love muslin swaddles. They are so soft. Their fabric is very um, just buttery, and the more you wash it, the, the you know softer it gets. But they're also very thin, so they don't make babies super hot. And you can wrap them up in a little swaddle. I like the ones that are very large because they don't wiggle out of them as quickly. Some of my swaddles that I have are small and ba if you, you know, baby moves, they get unswaddled. But I just like the simple old school swaddles that are muslin and you don't need all the fancy stuff with the Velcro and the zippers. Like they are useful, but these work just as well. And because they're cotton, they don't make baby sweat a ton. So muslin swaddles for sleep. And then this is another good option once baby is a little bit older. Um, you can get a Zen nested bean sleep sack. These are so cool because they zipper, but also they have a bean sack right here that feels like the weight of a hand on their chest when they're sleeping. And you can also put them, um, if your baby sleeps on their stomach, you can put it on their back as well. Obviously, use safe sleep guidelines. Um, but if you're comfortable with it as a mom and your baby is old enough to roll over safely, you can put them on their on their stomach. But anyways, this is great. I really like this for a little bit older newborn um, when they start to get a little more restless at night and can't be swaddled anymore. This is great. But obviously newborns can't roll over, so swaddling with a muslin thing is great as well. There's also different kinds of them. Like if you if you live in a really cold climate, you can do something like this. Uh, this one's for an older age as well, but since we're talking about newborn stuff, <laughs> I highly recommend those two. So the last two items that I found to be essential that I didn't really use when Bethany was tiny, but I definitely already knew about them by the time we had Adeline, was sound machines. So when we first had Bethany, we lived in a quiet apartment complex and she never woke up with anything and it was great. 
And then we moved to this house and um, this room used to be the master and this window was where we had her, we had her cradle right here because it was the only place it fit in the room. And our neighbors, bless them, had a very noisy dog at the time and we didn't have a fence. So anytime they, the dog would see us come or leave or Roberto come and leave or he would see things out in the street he would go berserk and I'm talking Bethany would wake up from her nap multiple times during the day she would wake up early in the morning when they would let the dog out it was horrible and then I was like what the heck am I gonna do so I found a sound machine I really like the hatch baby ones these ones have the built-in night light they have different sounds the and you know, you know your baby will prefer probably a certain sound and so we just always put it on the win one for bethany with a little bit of red light and she has slept great ever since then so particularly useful if you live in a very loud area um but not necessarily loud, but if there's frequent sounds like a dog barking specifically, or do you know, just random loud noises outside of your house, a sound machine would probably be a good idea. And in general, they will probably sleep better if you have some noise going on in the background. Going along with that, a portable sound machine like this one. This is the WAV Hello Sound Bub. I don't know if they have this particular brand anymore, it's still available, but it's great. It's rechargeable, the battery lasts forever and we've had this since Addie was a tiny baby like newborn um, and it's great because you can turn it on you it also has the ability capability to put on Bluetooth so you can play music on it from your phone which is kind of fun if you're like taking a walk you can play stuff on here um, and it's just super useful you turn it on and you select your sound there's like a heartbeat one static, rain, waves, crickets or something, a shushing sound. This one was particularly good when she wouldn't calm down in the car. And then back to the heartbeat one. Um, so super useful. You can also adjust the sound. You can put it on a timer. So anyways, you can just do a whole bunch of stuff with this. This is very useful for car rides as well. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful to you. And if you're having a new baby, congratulations. You are gonna do great. You're gonna be a great mom. And I'm going to say goodbye with my big old belly bump. Today is my birthday and we're gonna have a fun little road trip with the family. And I will see you next time in another video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.